فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على حبيبنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن سورة الفتح الله عز وجل says إن الذين يبايعونك إنما يبايعون الله يد الله فوق أيديهم فمن نكث فإنما ينكث على نفسه ومن أوفى بما عاهد عليه الله فسيؤتيه أجرا عظيما الله عز وجل says indeed those who give their pledge and allegiance and their oath to the messenger of Allah in fact are giving it to Allah himself and those who turn back on that oath and that pledge they gave they will be indeed in a state of loss and those who uphold that pledge and that oath they gave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah has a huge reward in store for them yubayuna comes from the verb baya, which means to pledge or to give an oath, which also comes from the verb ba'a, which means to sell. So essentially, Allah Azza wa Jal here is telling us the believers are selling their souls for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the sake of his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and for the sake of al-Islam. Originally, they gave this oath and pledge to avenge the death of Uthman, radiyallahu anhu, but he actually didn't die. So Allah Azza wa Jal is saying here, even though you gave your pledge and your oath for this, you still are bound by it. You still have to stick to it and be loyal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the end of this ayah, when Allah Azza wa Jal is referring to the pledge itself, he says, Ali who? Normally in Arabic, when the preposition ala comes before a pronoun, it would take a kasra. For example, Ali he, Ali his salam. The ha would have a kasra underneath it. But here, Allah Azza wa Jal uses a dhamma. And this here, the scholars have said, is for a tafkhim, to show the magnitude of this pledge, to show the importance of this oath the believers took. This is to draw our attention to what normally would have been a kasra, but it's a dhamma, to give us an idea of how important that pledge and oath was to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And how much of a reward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give those who uphold that pledge. Allahu Akbar. Look how subtle this is. Just because there's a dhamma here and not a kasra. It draws our attention to the importance of this pledge. Which is for a tafkhim. As what we said previously. To show us the magnitude and importance of it. Allahu Akbar. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته